Hello and welcome. My name is Cameron K. McEwen, and as always, I'm joined by Sandy McKinnon. And today we're in Kent and we're in an art gallery looking at a gallery of art. Shall we? Yeah. I wonder if they have a gift shop. I do like a gift shop. Ah, wonderful. I see what they did there. What? The colour? The colour. Yes! And the... Bouquet? Yes! It has... It has a bouquet. Okay, okay. It's just an empty space though, right? For you, maybe, my little hobbit friend. But for me... curious things about this piece is it's wonderful a functionalism yes I see what you mean divorce from its function and seen purely as a piece of art its structure of line and color are curiously counterpointed by the redundant vestiges of its function hmm and since it has no call to be here the art lies in the fact that it is here hmm Exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. Hmm. Looks expensive too. Oh wait. It's only forty nine ninety nine. Cam! Antique Roadshow! It's the perfect opportunity for you to shift that painting we carry around. Oh yeah. Think of the stuff we could buy. Wait a minute, what do you mean we? Never mind that. The trick is you need to pretend that you know what you're talking about when you speak to them. Anything they say, you respond by saying, ah, that's what I was expecting you to say. Ah, that's what I was expecting you to say. There you go. Right, go get him, Tiger. Get us big bucks. Hello and welcome to the Antiques Roadshow. This week from Kent. Hello, sunshine, and what delights do you have for me today? Well, Fiona... Oh, darling, that's much bigger than I thought it was. That's because you were further away at the time, Fiona. Okay, well, let's get started, shall we? Have you travelled far today? That's what I was expecting, you would say. Okay, well, let's have a look at it, shall we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, this is it. Oh, lovely, lovely. Well, I don't know if you know this, but it's an early 19th century piece by Vincent van Gogh. Did you know that? That's what I was expecting you to say. Interesting, interesting. Well, it's, it's amazing you picked that up, because uh, this one here is about time and explosions in time. I don't know if you know, but it was painted in France by uh, Vincent van Gogh in his later years. Some people say it's a message. A message of what? I don't know. You'll notice here the time difference here. Apparently that's where the message comes from, but we will never really know. Apparently had a love interest, a young Scottish girl called Amelie or something like that. Don't really know. But uh, generally this was about him killing off the boyfriend, which who was a doctor at the time, and she wanted to kill him off to get the girl. Don't know if you know that, did you? That's what I was expecting you to say. Well, um, anyway, I think that's all I could really say on the matter. Any estimations on how much you think this is worth? That's what I thought you might say. Uh, okay, well, it's the point of the show, but, uh, well, in its current condition, I would say it's about forty-nine ninety-nine. Well, thank you very much, Cameron, for bringing this along. Thank you, Deirdre, for having me. Uh, my name is Fiona. I never said it wasn't. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming along. Next week on Antique Throw Show, we're looking at a stuffed cat. <laughs> Until then, goodbye. Sadly, that's all from us here today in Kent. Thanks for joining me, Sandy. Thank you, Kent. Both these wonderful pieces of art are available from the BBC shop. Dot com. They're A2 sized and brilliantly rendered onto spruce plywood from PFC Sustainable Forests. And only $49.99. Whoa. The perfect gift for the Who fan in your life. Mm. Also, Christmas is not too far away either. That's right. Excellent. So, it's goodbye from me, Cameron K. McEwen. And it's goodbye from me, Sandy McKinnon. We'll see you soon. Yeah.